Hey, welcome. We are going to be talking about two-dimensional kinematics problems, which are essentially projectile problems. Because as something is launched in the air, it becomes a projectile if the only significant force affecting it is gravity. And that's what we're going to be dealing with. And it turns out that there is a special shape that projectiles fly through the air with. Do you remember in your math class what this is called? This shape right here that you can see, this arcing shape. It's called a parabola. Next, I want you to focus on what is happening with the blue arrow that's pointing upwards. The font is pretty small, but this says V sub Y. That means velocity in the Y direction. Down here, this is your velocity in the X. And let's just focus on this velocity in the X axis. As this projectile flies through the air, I want you to focus on what's happening to that value. Ready, set, go. Is it getting bigger or smaller? Nope, it's not getting bigger or smaller, and this is assuming that air resistance is not a significant factor as the projectile is launched through the air. We can keep our velocity in the x-axis stable. We can keep it constant. So if you know your initial velocity in the x-axis, you could also call that your final velocity in the x-axis if you wanted to, or your average velocity in the x-axis. They're all the same because the velocity is going to be the same in the x-axis if there's no air resistance. Let me show you one more time so you can get an idea of what I'm talking about. It's not speeding up nor slowing down in the x-axis at all. How about I take a look at what's happening in the Y. So pay attention to the blue arrow that's in the Y axis here. That's labeled as V sub Y, although you may not be able to see the label. Let's go ahead and take a look. Is that changing? And the answer is yes, it is changing. Is it changing by a constant value? And the answer is yes. Every second it changes by the same amount. So that's the velocity in the Y axis. My question is this. By what amount does it change every second? That velocity in the Y changes by a minus 9.81 meters per second every second. How do I know that? Well, that's the acceleration due to gravity. And so as this object travels through the air, its velocity every second becomes changed by a negative 9.81 meters per second. And those are some concepts you're going to need to know as we go into talking about how to do two-dimensional kinematics problems. When we say two-dimensional, we mean in the x-axis and in the y-axis. Oh, one last question before I forget. If I were to ask you the velocity in the x and the velocity in the y, do you think they are independent of each other? What would you guess? The answer is yeah, they actually are independent of each other. Notice how the velocity in the x is remaining constant. The velocity in the y is constantly changing. They are actually independent of each other. So we're going to have to treat the x-axis and the y-axis when we do these problems as totally independent from each other. All right, and so that's a brief intro to my next lesson. So please stick around for that. If you have any comments, let me know. I'll put a comment down below that gives you the link to this website. It's fantastic. It's called O Physics, and you can play around with these simulations if you like. Thank you for listening. Please stick around for the next lesson.